The people of a town don't form committees and go around shooting men for the reasons you've given me. It doesn't make sense. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Oh, Mr. Paladin. Good morning, hey boy. I was just coming up to your room. Well, I decided to have breakfast in the dining room this morning. Oh, yes, a, a telegram come for you. Oh, thank you. Hey, what's the matter with your neck? Why do you keep rubbing it? Oh, uh, 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 hey, boy, I miss you want to go for a walk in moonlight last night. Uh huh. Well, what's that got to do with it? Oh, we go looking for falling stars, hold heads back too long, <laughs> get a stiffy neck. <laughs> Miss Wong, too? Oh, yes, sir. Well, was it worth it? Did you see any falling stars? Yes, sir. One. Did you make a wish? Wish? Yeah. It's an old custom. When you see a falling star, you make a wish, and it's supposed to come true. Oh, ho, ho. Ow. Uh, hey, boy, <laughs> not know this. Uh, must look again. I have many wishy to make. Yes, well, not too long at a time, hey, boy. You might wind up with your head in a permanent stargazing position. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, you send answer to telegram? Oh, yeah, let's see. Ah, need your help. They're going to murder my friend Sam Crow. Hurry, signed Skeeter Hickshaw. Who? Ah, Skeeter Hickshaw, hey boy, an old prospector friend of mine. Oh, he sounds very upset. Hey boy, when Skeeter sends a telegram for help, he's not only upset, he's desperate. Most Americans are proud of their country and of its high standard of living. Today, we have more leisure time, more extensive and better highways and recreational facilities than ever before. We are also proud of our country's scenic beauty. But do we always remember to keep it beautiful? Whenever we throw fruit skins, candy wrappers, or tissues from an automobile window, or leave a pile of litter at the beach, in a park, or along a stream, we are actually destroying the country's beauty. What's more, we're endangering health and safety. A piece of paper thrown from the window of one car can blow against the windshield of the automobile behind it and cause an accident. Objects lying half hidden in grass or in the sand at the beach are safety hazards. Won't you help keep America clean and beautiful? Here's how. Carry a litter bag in your car for travel trash and always dispose of litter in a proper receptacle. This is your country. Take care of it so you'll continue to be proud of it. Skeeter Hickshaw lived in the small town of Hamburg, near the Oregon border. He was one of the lucky few miners who had managed to save enough money from prospecting to retire in a reasonably comfortable manner. I had first met him some years before in Nevada. We became good friends, and it wasn't long after that when he gave up prospecting and settled down to a life of relaxation. It was late afternoon when I finally arrived at his place in Hamburg. Hey, what? Yeah, I ain't gonna miss it next time, mister. Hey. So you just climb back in that saddle and move out. Hey, Skeeter, is that you? You hear what I said, now get. Now hold on, hold on, it's me. Paladin. I don't care who, who, Paladin. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So come on in. Are well, you sure it's safe? Well, of course, of course it's safe. God dang you. <laughs> it's about time you got here, too. Hi, Skeeter. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to see you. Come on in. You shoot at everybody that comes to your place? Oh, now, you know I didn't know that as you. No, I figured it was some shifty character they'd hired to get Sam. Yeah, what's this all about, Skeeter? Why, Dad, they're fixing to shoot him, that's what. But you ain't going to get away with it, the god dang fools, no siree. I tell you, I would have gave you, you... Oh, now, see there, look at me getting all riled up already. Now, I ain't even seen you in the coon's age. 
Yeah, grab yourself a chair there, Paladin. I got some coffee going, if you can stand it. Uh, why not? I always said your coffee was a test of a man's strength, and after being shot at, I want to see if I've got any left. Yeah, sure. You know, you ain't changed none at all since I last seen you. Oh, I've changed. We all do, Skeeter. Yeah, well, you ain't... You ain't lost your shooting eyes, have you? I say you ain't lost that, because that's what I'm going to need. Yeah, why do you need me, Skeeter? Who is this friend of yours somebody's after? Sam Crow, and he is the best dang friend I ever had. Fine, fine, but uh, what's his problem? Oh, they formed a stinking committee, that's why. I say that's what, and they aimed to shoot Sam. Why? What's he done that's so bad? Nothing, nothing. Leastwise, nothing that deserves him being shot. Well, he must have done something, Skeeter. Uh, what was it? He, uh, well, he... he he took a few things here and there. He took a few things? Like what? Well, you know, jewelry and things. Oh, but, but folks always get everything back. Yeah, I say, I always give it back. He, you always give it back? Yeah, if Sam brings his stuff here, so I give it back. Uh, all right, your friend Sam is a thief. Now, what else? That's all, I tell you, that's all. Oh, well, except maybe he does kind of... <laughs> Cuss at the ladies a little. Cuss at the... Uh, Skeeter, <laughs> nothing you've said makes any sense. The people of a town don't form committees and go around shooting men for the reasons you've given me. Yo, well, they do in this town, and it ain't the town's people. It's the town's women. Women? Yeah. You mean this committee you're talking about is made up of women? Yo, they are the ordinariest bunch of females I have ever seen. Now, look... Uh, I tell you, Paladin, I ain't never um, seen nothing like it. Just a passel of busybodies. That's what they Skeeter, are. Uh, I ain't never shot a woman before, but it. I'm sure enough thinking about it now. I tell Skeeter. you... Honey, it's just, Skeeter! Skeeter! Uh, huh? Will you calm down a minute? No, oh, calm down. I mean, I, how would you feel if your best friend was going to be shot? Well, maybe he won't be shot. Now, there's, there's got to be more to this than you're telling. But there ain't, I tell you. Right, where is this friend of yours? Is he hiding out somewhere? Hiding out? Hiding out? Heck no, he's right in the next room. In the next room? Well, get him in here. Maybe if I hear his side of it, this whole thing will make some sense. I have told you everything there is to tell. Just get him in here, will you, Skeeter? Oh, sure. Paladin, you're just as stubborn as you ever was. Ah! Ah! Close the door! Oh, hey, what the... Now, now, come here, Sam. Come here. <laughs> yeah, that's your boy. Yeah. Well, here he is, Paladin. Ah! You mean ah! this... Shoot him! Shoot him, tell you! Ah! Is it ah! Crow? Sam Crow is a bird? Well, I never said he wasn't. All the way from San Francisco? You make me come all the way from San Francisco because you were worried about a bird? Daddy, he ain't a bird. He's Sam Crow, and he's my friend. Skeeter, it took me four days of hard riding to get here. Four days, and all because I thought you needed my help. Well, I do need your help, but you can gall dang well get if that's the way you feel about well, it. Well, maybe I will. Well, go on, then. See if I care. Say, see if I care. What do you know about friends? How would you know about how I found this poor critter lying outside all broke up and hurt? And how I fixed him up. And then I learned him how to talk and all. Say, learned him how to talk. I'll tell you something, Paladin. All my life I've been lonely. But with Sam, I ain't lonely no more. That's the kind of friend he is. I, Skeeter, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't know that he meant that much to you. Well, he does. Well, now tell me, who is in charge of this women's committee that wants to shoot Sam? Uh, I think I'll have a talk with her tomorrow. Yeah, oh, it won't do no good. I tried talking to her. What's her name, Skeeter? Uh, Penny Brook. Mrs. Maud Penny Brook. And he... Yeah, I guess there's something else you should know. What's that? Well, Mrs. Pennybrook seems to have an in particular spatial hate for Sam Crow. And I guess cause uh, well, Sam keeps calling her by a spatial name. What's that? Well, I guess it ain't very nice, but oh, there's no need for me to repeat it in front of him now. Oh, oh, yeah, I see. Uh, yeah. Now, who taught him this special name in the first place? Uh, well, yeah, I did, but I've been trying to unteach him ever since, but he doesn't want to change. Yeah, I understand. And I can't say I really blame this Mrs. Pennybrook for being offended. Ain't no cause to shoot him. Ah! Ah! Shoot him! Shoot him! Ah! Ah! The next day when I went to Mrs. Pennybrook's house, a committee meeting regarding Sam Crow was in progress. When I introduced myself and told the ladies I was there in behalf of Skeeter Hickshaw... The reception I got was anything but friendly, although I did notice one little lady they called Winifred who seemed more curious than angry. I tried to explain to the committee that Sam Crow was more than just a pet to Skeeter and perhaps something could be worked out other than shooting the bird. However, my plea was met with cold stares and from Mrs. Pennybrook, some harsh words. Paladin, huh? You look like a gunfighter to me. Uh, Is that what you are, uh, a gunfighter? Uh, Mrs. Pennybrook, I came here to try to find a solution to a problem. 
not to discuss personality. Well, the only solution is to kill that bird, and that's just what's going to happen. Yes. Uh, but, oh, now, listen, now, but, Lord, I, I think it's only fair that we listen to Mr. Paladin's suggestion. Well, that's fine for you to say, Winifred Merriwell. That Theban crow hasn't stolen anything from you. Oh, now, that isn't so. Just the other day, he flew in through my window and took a bracelet off the bureau, but I got it back. Mr. Hickshaw always gives everything back. Well, I'll wager his precious bird doesn't swear at you every time you walk down the street. <laughs> oh, I've heard my share. After all, Mr. Hickshaw and Sam spend a certain amount of time in the saloon. It's only natural the bird would pick up some undesirable language. Now, you listen to me, Winterford. We've already decided that crow has to be removed. So if you don't agree, then you can just retire from the committee. Yes, that's uh, sure. but well, I think it's silly that that... that Poor bird doesn't know he's doing wrong. Well, we all know it. Uh, ladies, ladies, uh, Mrs. Pennybroke, uh, let's be reasonable, reasonable, shall we? Reasonable? Uh, reasonable? Is that what Skeeter Hickshaw was when he hired a, a gunfighter like you to protect that silly crow? Uh, Mrs. Pennybroke, he didn't hire me. Well, you're here, aren't you? Well? Well, just let me tell you something, Mr. Paladine, or whatever your name is. If Skeeter Hickshaw can get someone like you, then so can we, and we'll do it. Just mark my words, we'll do it. Shoot, shoot. Oh, now, shut up, Sam. Shut up, shut up. I'm sorry, Skeeter. I tried. Yeah, well, I, to I told you it was no use talking. Them busybodies just ain't gonna listen. Oh, there was one who wanted to listen. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Her name was Winifred Merriwell. Well, is that a fact? Well, what do you know about that? Uh, look, Skeeter, couldn't you take Sam out of town for a while? Just long enough till things cool down? No, sir. God dang it. No, sir. I got a right to keep Sam, and I aim to do it. There ain't nobody gonna be... Well, I'll be... Huh. What's the matter? Look at there, look at there. Here comes that Mrs. Pennybrook, and there's a man with her. Ah, so I see. He's carrying a gun, too. Oh, well, you damn stinking old biddies. They went out and hired a gunfighter. Ah. You stay here, Skeeter. I'll go out and talk to them. No, sir. Me and Sam, we'll go with you. Oh, well, all right. Suit yourself. Well, Mr. Hickshaw, are you ready to give up that crow peacefully, or do we have to take it by force? Ain't nobody gonna take Sam. <laughs> Yeah, how about it, mister? You gonna make me shoot that crow right off your shoulder? That wouldn't be very smart. Oh? I suppose you're the one they call Paladin, huh? That's right. And my name's Turlock. Wiley Turlock. Shoot him! Shoot him! You ever hear me? Should I have? Most folks around here know the name. They consider it kind of unhealthy to argue with me. Oh? Now, Mrs. Pennybrook here... She and that ladies' committee hired me to shoot him a crow. And I aim to do it. And you better aim at something else, Turlock. Hey, now. Guess you didn't hear real clear what I said, Paladin. You know what I think, Turlock? I think you're full of a lot of talk. And that's all. I, I told you, mister, folks hereabouts don't consider it healthy to go against me. Well, I don't happen to be from around here, Turlock. So if you've got any notions about shooting Sam Crow, you better figure on drawing on me first. Uh, now, look. No, no, no. Don't you let him talk to you like that, Mr. Turlock. Well, shut up, lady. What? How about it, Turlock? I, uh, I... Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, suppose you just turn around and get out of here before you get in real trouble. Now, now don't listen to him. Now, oh, there. there ain't no sense having a shootout over a little bird. Ah! Ah! Shoot him! Shoot him! I'm leaving. Mr. Turlock! You come back here! Come back here this instant, do you hear? He's not coming back, Mrs. Pennybrook. Well, I never... Ah! Ah! Old Benny! Stinking old Benny! Oh, ah! That bird! That nasty black bird! Well, his manners ain't the best, Mrs. Pennybrook, but just because he swears a little, he's... And just because he stole some of your jewelry ain't no reason to try and shoot him. Oh, that bird is a thief, Skeeter Hickshaw. And he'll be punished just like any other criminal. I tell you, he will. You mark my words. Over.
over three decades of travel, keen observing, frontline reporting of virtually every world crisis, and a natural-born flair for word artistry, these are the prime assets of one of the great veterans of CBS News, Mr. Lowell Thomas. Monday through Friday evenings, Lowell Thomas offers the latest news in detail and depth, plus his own witty seasoned comment on each story. There's no substitute for experience, indeed no substitute for Lowell Thomas when it comes to news in full sound color on CBS Radio and this station. Where the god dang heck have you been? Trapping. Trapping? Trapping. Tra well, what's, that, what's that you got there? That, Skeeter, is a crow. He, huh? A wild crow. Well, what did you trap him for? Remember I told you about Winifred Merriwell and how she was on your side of the committee meeting the other day? Yes, but I don't well, see... Well, I talked to her yesterday and she told me Mrs. Pennybrook had gone over to Horse Creek and picked up a court order. What kind of a court order? One that declares Sam Crow a public nuisance. Well, up all the low-down, miserable, goddamn uh, tricks I ever heard uh, of. Now, just calm but... down, calm down. Maybe we can save Sam yet. Well, how are you going to do it? Just how? Well, that's why I trapped this wild crow. We're going to switch him with Sam. Switch him? Switch him? Well, what good's that? Good? Oh, 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 I get you. When that old bitty comes in with a court order, we'll give her this here wild uh, bird instead of Sam. That's <laughs> it exactly, Skeeter. <laughs> that's pretty smart, pal. Did I say yes, sir? Pretty smart. Now, the only thing is, we're going to have to move Sam out of here for a while. Oh, oh, now, hold on. I told you before I ain't going to do that. Even if we uh, leave him with Winifred Merriwell? She offered to keep him for you for a while. No, no I, don't, I don't like it. Sam ain't used to well, females. Uh, maybe it'd be good for Sam to be around a woman for a while. Skeeter, he might learn some decent language. Well, yeah, I suppose he could stand that right enough. Oh, who knows? He uh, might even learn to give up stealing. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that, that'd be something. Uh, all right, pal, then I'll do her. I'll let that Winifred Merriwell take care of Sam for a while. It, but just a while, mind you. Good. Now, where's we... Skeeter Hickshaw! Yo, Skeeter Hick, that sounds like old Pennybrook. You come outside and bring that nasty bird with you. I have something to show you. Uh, where's Sam, Skeeter? He's locked up in the next room. All right, we'll leave him there for now. Here, uh, you carry this cage with a wild crow. Yeah. You heard me. Skeeter Hickshaw, get out here. Of course I hear you, you goddamn female. Everybody in town can hear you. Oh, uh, well, what's that you got? It's the crow. You yelled at me to bring him out, didn't you? Well, why is he in a cage? He's never been in a cage before. Mm, where's the rest of your busybody committee? I don't see him, Norris. Well, I'm the chairman, so it's my duty to do what has to be done. Besides, I got a court order to get rid of that old crow. We all know about that. Very well, then, since you know. Are you prepared to let me shoot the bird? Sure. What? I said sure. What's the matter, you deep? There's something strange here. Look, you got the court order and you brung a gun. Now you're going to shoot the goddamn crow, ain't you? Well, I still say there's something strange. You're too eager. Uh, Mrs. Pennybrook, there's just one thing. Oh? Since this poor bird has to be shot, I think it'd be only fair to take him out of his cage, let him sit on the porch rail. That way he can die where he's happiest. Well, it doesn't matter to me. Put him there if you want. That's very kind of you. Skeeter, let him out. Yeah, sure. Oh, he's flying away! Well, you better hurry up and shoot! <laughs> you ain't a very good shot, are you? You knew that crow would fly away! You know it! Oh, now, now, you got the court order, Mrs. Pennybrook, so you're welcome to take a pot shot at that crow any time you see him flying around. Yes, sir. See, just any time at all. Ain't that right, Paladin? Oh, the law says she's got that right. Oh, you, you crusty old man. You better practice up on your shooting, you old biddy. <laughs> yeah, I tell you. Oh, no, that did my heart good. Well, I don't think your troubles are over, Skeeter. When she finds out the Sam Crow is still around, it'll start all over again. Yeah, all right, golly, you're right. What am I going to do? Well, as I said before, why don't you take him over to Winifred? Maybe she has a suggestion. Uh-huh. Uh, well, wh why don't you go over and talk to her? Oh, not me, Skeeter. I think I've had enough of Sam Crow. Uh, no offense, mind you, but I do have to get back to San Francisco. Oh, good evening, Mr. 
parlor door? Mm. Oh, oh, good evening, Miss Wong. Uh, someone is looking for you, sir. Oh? A uh, hey boy tried to find you in dining room. A uh, Missy Wong tried to find you in lobby. Well, it looks like you're the winner, uh, Miss Wong. The winner, Missy Wong. Now, who wants to see me? Oh, old gentleman, sir, with whiskers. Old gentleman oh, with whiskers. Yes, hmm? sir. Uh, he carrying a bird on shoulder. Mm-hmm. Carrying a bird? Yes, sir. Carrying a bird. Paper paladin. What? Oh, there he is, sir. Excuse, please. You paladin, god dang you. Skeeter. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking all over for you. Well, what the devil are you doing in San Francisco? I left you in Hamburg four weeks ago. Well, what's the matter? Can't a fellow come into Big City once in a while? Well, sure, but... Ah, uh, ah, big City, Big City, <laughs> ah. Well, I see Sam's still alive. Did his visit with Winifred Merriwell help his language any? Oh, yeah, it helped that right now. Yeah, and it helped his stealing, too. Oh, well, then everything worked out fine. Oh, it did. I say it did, huh? Well, let me tell you something. This gall dang bird got to liking that female. Oh? Yes, he got to liking her so much he didn't want to come back to my place with me. (laughs) And after all, I'd done for him, too. (laughs) Well, how did you get him back? How did I get him back? (laughs) What, 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 What do you think I'm in San Francisco for? I'm on my honeymoon, that's what. A honeymoon? Yes, you're all dang right. That's the only way I could get this bird back. <laughs> sure, I had to marry Winifred. Ah! Ah! Married her! Married her! Ah! <laughs> That reminds me of a tip I've been meaning to give you. Whenever you buy Pepsi-Cola, get an extra carton. This is the secret of effortless entertaining. You know by now that as the parties go, so goes the Pepsi. So face reality and be ready for any number of thirsts by making sure there's always plenty of the light refreshment on hand. People go for Pepsi because it refreshes without filling and does it in such a good tasting way. Come to think of it, Why not buy a case of Pepsi? Then maybe there'll be enough for you to have some, too. Be sociable, look smart, keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay young and fair and debonair. Be sociable, have a Pepsi. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hayboy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ray Kemper. Featured in the cast were Irene Tedrow, Jack Moyles, Shirley Mitchell, John James, and Forrest Lewis. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel.